Hi, Kipsters. It's Miss Pickett. I miss you guys so much, but I'm so excited that I get to teach you guys on the internet. So you guys can find us on YouTube and we can do all these fun activities together for reading, math, phonics, and it's going to be so fun because you guys get to see all of your teachers teaching something different on our YouTube channel. So today in kindergarten, we're going to be working on some CGI and I know we've all done this in our classroom so I'm pretty sure all of you guys know how to do CGI but there's a few materials that you guys are gonna need before we can get started with our CGI okay so you're gonna need paper to write with so you guys gotta go grab some paper and you guys need a pencil if you can't find a pencil it's okay you guys can use a crayon if you have color pencils or if you have a marker or pen it doesn't matter you just need paper and something to write with so you guys can pause the video and I'll be here while you guys run and get the materials that we need for CGI okay you're back perfect now let's jump right in now I know it's going to be a little bit different because you guys don't have the paper to write on, but Miss Pickett is going to read the problem and then we're going to work on solving this all together, okay? So it says, David had three rocks. He found five more rocks. How many rocks does David have now? Hmm. I'm going to read that one more time. David had three rocks. He found five more rocks. How many rocks does David have now? Hmm. So let's think about this. In this math problem, are we working on putting numbers together or taking numbers away? So are we putting it together or are we taking it away? Let's think. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to point out what I noticed in the story. And then you brain match if you agree with me, okay? So it says David had three rocks. So that means he has three rocks with him. He found five more rocks. That lets me know that he had three, and then he found more to add to what he had. Now the question says, how many rocks does David have now? So let's see. Hmm. What do they want us to do? Who can answer that for me? If you said they want us to put the numbers together and add them all together, you're right. So Brain Match, if you said that you they want us to put the numbers of rocks all together and find out how many rocks David had. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to grab your paper and grab something to write with. And then we're going to go over this all together. So it says... We're going to draw how you solve the problem. So you guys don't have your CGI paper, and it's okay. You guys can just use your plain paper. It doesn't matter, and you guys can just draw along with Miss Pickett. So I'm going to say it, and then I want you guys to draw that many. So it said, David had three rocks. So how many rocks are we going to draw first? Who can tell me? Right, we're going to draw three rocks. So it's going to go like this. We're going to go one two, three. Good job. David had three rocks. He found five more rocks. So who can raise a quiet hand and tell me how many rocks are we going to draw now? How many are we going to draw? Five? Perfect. Now we have to draw five more rocks. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. You drew five more rocks. Now it says, how many rocks does David have now? So who can tell me what's the next step? What do we need to do now? We drew the three rocks. We drew the five more rocks. What's next? If you said count them all together, you're right. So brain matches Miss Pickett. Now we need to count how many rocks he has all together and that will let us know how many rocks David has. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now something in Notre Dame that we like to do, we like to say go back, go back, go back and count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. So who can tell me, how many rocks does David have all together? Did you say eight? If you said eight, you are correct. So I'm going to write my number eight right here. Because I know that David had eight rocks all together. Now, if you don't have this little space like me to write it, you can write the number eight wherever you need to on your paper. Now, we're going to write the number sentence together to help us figure out how many rocks did David have all together. So it says, what is the number sentence that goes with the problem? Now, let's see. Who remembers how many rocks David had? If you said three, you're right. So we're going to write the number three first because David had three rocks. Now, who knows what do we put here? What symbol are we putting numbers together or are we taking them away? Which one are we doing? We put the numbers together. Good job. So when we put numbers together, we need to do what with them? We need to add them. Good job. So I'm going to put the addition sign. And remember, the addition sign is like a T. A line cross and a line down the middle. So we have three plus. How many more rocks did David find? Who remembers what number that was? If you need help, I'll put it up a little bit closer so you can see. If you said five, you're right. David found five more rocks. Now, what symbol do we put after our number sentence? What symbol do we put? Good job. We put our equal sign because we need to find out how many are all together. So we have three plus five equals, and how many did we say David had all together? David had eight rocks all together. So we're going to write the number eight. Now, Miss Pinkett wants to see if you guys remember how we put numbers into a number bond. So, Miss Pickett printed out a number bond. Now, if you guys remember, I'm going to point and I want you to tell me what I'm pointing to, okay? I'm not going to say it. I want you guys to say it. So let's see. If you said part, part, whole, brain match, you are absolutely correct. This is our part, part, whole. Now, remember, Miss Pickett likes to tell the friends in her classroom, no matter which way you see the number bond, it's still part, part, whole. If I flip it this way, what is it? It's part, part, whole. Now, what if it looks like this? What is it? Part, part, whole. So, Miss Pickett is going to use a whiteboard to draw the number bond. You guys can just flip your paper to the other side and we're going to make a number bond and use the same numbers from CGI to place into our number bond. So, Miss Pickett's going to get her marker. And I'm going to draw our circles from our number bond. So, and you guys can copy off of me once I'm done. Okay. So this is our part, part, whole. Now, who remembers one of the numbers that was our part in the story? I'm going to read it one more time just in case you guys forgot. It said, David had three rocks. He found five more rocks. How many rocks does David have now? So we know that how many rocks did David start off with? He had three rocks. Good job. So we're going to write the number three in our part. How many more rocks did David find? Five. Good job. We're going to write the five in the next part. So we know three and five. Those two numbers are our parts. And we know the two lines go down to the whole. This is our whole. So remember, we had to add those all together to find our whole. Now, we can go like this. We can go one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. 
but we can draw some rocks on the top so we can count them all together to find out how many rocks again David had in all. If you remember from when we did it with CGI, perfect. You can go ahead and write the number. If you don't, we're going to count our rocks all together and put that number into our hole. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many rocks did David have in all? He had eight. Good job. So we worked on some CGI math and we did a number bond all by ourselves. Good job, Kipsters. Give yourself a pat on the back. All right, so that's the end of this video, but make sure you guys practice doing CGI and putting those number bonds together, all right? See you guys soon.